Hi, my name is Bohadar Ahmedov. Welcome to the course of Probability and Statistics. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the conditional probability and the Bayes rule. And I would like to start this lecture with an, from the example in order to give you some impression or motivation why we have to learn about this. A student has prepared 70% of the questions. What does it mean? It means that whenever the student goes to the exam, he chooses one of the questions, for example, randomly. And the probability that he knows this question, see, he has prepared this question as equal to the 0 0.7. But at the same time, it is possible that he doesn't know this question, right? So what is the probability that he doesn't know the question? So I'm going to denote this as a prime, as a complement to this event. Probability that the student doesn't know this question is going to be equal to the 0 0.3. So since the these two events are complement, the sum of their probability should be equal to the 1. So the thing is like this. So if the student knows this question, he's going to answer to this question correctly. So probability that the student is going to answer correctly. So let me write this here. So the student is going to answer to the question correctly if he knows the question. So if you remember, this is called a conditional probability where this event after the vertical line is already happened. So we know that the student has picked up the question which he knows. And the probability that he's going to answer correctly is equal to the one because he knows this question. And at the same time, if he doesn't know the question, what he's going to do is he's going to choose or guess the answer. So basically, probability that he's going to guess the correct answer out of four. So there are four question, four answers to every question. So there are like question, and there are four options: A, B, C, D. So now the student doesn't know this question. So he reads the question, but he doesn't know this question. He didn't prepare to this question. And he's going to guess one of the answers. For example, A. Probability that this A is correct is going to be equal to 1 over 4, right? Because only one of the answers is correct out of 4. So you see, so we can find the probabilities and we can even find the conditional probabilities. But sometimes it is important for us to find uh, the probability when these two things are flipped. So basically, I would like to know from this example what, so if this student has already answered, and if his answer is correct, what is the actually the probability that he knows this question? So hopefully you understand this notation. So this notation means what is the probability? Probability that the student knew the question, knew the question, if he already answered correctly, if he already answered to this question correct. So you see, so finding this probability is not so easy, So as we did here. So that is why we need to figure out the rule which is going to give us the answers where these two events are flipped around this vertical line. So if we know this version, so we, are, we would like to figure out a formula which would allow us to find the probability of this version. In order to do this, I would like to remind you the formula of the multiplication rule. So if you remember, the multiplication rule tells you that probability of the A and B, so in this case we're considering the event like A happens first, then B happens second, is going to be equal to the probability of the A times to the probability of the B given that A has already happened, right? So A happens first, then B happens second when we know that A has already happened. But at the same time, probability that B and A is going to be equal to the probability of the B times the probability of the um, A when the B is already happened. So the probability of the B and A means that the B happens first, 
then A happened second when B is already happened. If you would just assume that the probability of the A uh, and B and probability of the B and A are equal, then these two equations on the right hand side parts should be equal as well. So it means that the probability of the A multiplied to the probability of the B given A is equal to the probability of the B times probability of the A given B. So from here I can find, for example, the probability of the A given B. So this is going to be equal to, so basically I'm just putting this to the to this part. So this is going to be, so let me write it here. Probability of A given B is going to be equal to the probability of the B given A times to the probability of the A divided to the probability of the B. So this is one of the important formulas in the probability theory, which is going to be called as the formula of Bayes, or the Bayes theorem. Bayes theorem. So I would like to, um, so let, let us try to solve our problem using this formula. And later on, I will give you some hints how to memorize this formula much more easier. So if you remember, we wanted to find the probability that the student knew, knows the answer, knew the answer, if he already answered to the question correctly, right? Just using this formula, I would like to flip this around, right? Because I know what is the answer when I flip them around. So it is going to be equal to the probability of answering correctly if the student knows the answer times probability of knowing the answer divided to the probability of answering correctly. And actually finding this term is it is easy because it is already given this is equal to the one so if he knows the question he's going, he's going to certainly answer to the question correctly and the probability that he knows the question is equal to the 0 0.7 because he has prepared to the 70 percent of the questions and this probability is going to be a little bit difficult because in this case we need to use so-called law of total probabilities so there are two possibilities of answering to the question correctly Either he's going to answer to, to the question correctly, either he's going to answer to the question correctly when he knows the answer, either he's going to answer correctly, it is also possible, when the student doesn't know the answer, right? So we need to basically take into the consideration both of those cases. So probability that we're going to have this case is going to be 70%, right? Or just simply the, the probability of knowing this uh, question. And the probability of happening this case is going to be equal to the probability of choosing the question which the student doesn't know, which the student didn't prepare for. So either this case, either this case, basically, or, so that is why we have to sum them. So let us evaluate this. So the probability that the student know, uh, answer correctly, if he knows this, it's going to be 1 times probability of knowing the answer is going to be 0 0.7 plus. So the probability that the student is going to answer correctly to the question, if he doesn't know this, it's going to be 0 0.25 times probability that he doesn't know the question, he didn't prepare for that question, is equal to the 0 0.3. So the answer is going to be equal here, 0 0.7 plus if you multiply this one to this, it's going to be 0 0.75, which is going to be 1.45. So now I would like to put everything together to here, it's going to be 0 0.7 divided to the 1.45. So this is the probability of, um, of this term. So basically, the probability the student knew the answer if he already answered correctly. And the Bayes theorem is going to help us to find this kind of probabilities when finding this like flip version of the uh, of the conditional probability is easier for us. So I would like to give you a couple of hints to memorize this formula a little bit easier. So if you would like to find the probability of the A given B using the Bayes theorem, you have to remember that you need to write down the fraction. And you're going to make this fraction, the numerator, by just flipping 
these two events. So just flip them around and write them B given A. Then just multiply this to the probability of the second term, basically, probability of the A. So the second one just going out from the A. And then you have to divide this to the probability of the B. So this term here is going down to the denominator, probability of the B. So let us do a couple of more exercises. For example, if I say, hey, find the probability of the K given G, for example. Again, what you have to do is you need to flip their places. It's going to be probability of the G given K. So the second term is going to go out. It's going to be probability of the K divided to this term is going down. Probability of the G. So in our next lectures, we're going to discuss the applications of the Bayes theorem for more complicated exercises. Thank you.